So Joseph also went up from the town of Nazareth in Galilee to Judea to Bethlehem, the town of David, because he belonged to the house and line of David. He went there to register with Mary, who was pledged to be married to him and was expecting a child. While they were there, the time came for the baby to be born, and she gave birth to her firstborn, a son. She wrapped him in cloths and placed him in a manger because there was no guest rooms available for them. For Mary and Joseph, they had obeyed every instruction that the Lord had given and are facing a hard journey to Bethlehem ahead. The couple journeyed from the place they were living back home to a place where they were from. When they arrived, there's no place for them to stay and time is running out. There's no room except at a stable. The king of glory would be born in a manger in a stable. No matter what was going on in the present moment, God was with this couple every step of the way. No matter what our season looks like, we must remember that God is present with us, just as he had been present at every step of Mary and Joseph's journey. He is with us. He loves so much. He has a plan that we can't even imagine. He directs every step according to his will. Good morning. I think I've procrastinated enough with this hair. I'm going to go ahead and try to cover this gray that I have before I eat breakfast and start working for the day. So that way it can sit in my hair while I make breakfast or eat breakfast and start working. So I'm just going to try to get the top. Okay. Things are not starting out good because I told myself not to throw that little brush away and I did. <laughs> and so I'm having to mix this with my finger and I don't know how I'm going to apply it. I guess with my finger as well. I don't know. But a little trick I wanted to show you all is when you have maybe something like this where you have to do half and half. What I did is with the little tube, I just cut the bottom off instead of trying to funnel it all the way through, and I'm using medium brown. Instead of trying to squeeze it all the way through the tip, I just cut the bottom end off. And so, let me see how I'm gonna get creative here and trying to apply this on my head. I'm tempted to use a little brush, like a brush. Maybe I can just dip it in there and then, I don't know. Let's get started. Okay, well, that was a hot mess. <laughs> I think what I should have did was put on my contact lenses because I can't wear my glasses when I'm doing this. So I think that's what I'll do now. But I just went ahead and used the brush a little bit, but it didn't, it would tangle my hair because this is a teasing brush. So definitely don't use that. But I was trying to use it to part my hair and then kind of, pull it over and if you wash it right away it shouldn't stain the brush but anyway we'll see how it turns out I mean I hate that I threw that little brush away I feel like I need to practice what I preach because I definitely have said that before so anyway let me go ahead and put my contact lenses in so I can see Okay, I just got through blow drying my hair, washing it, <laughs> washing it out. And I still have like here, you can still see that I still have gray. And usually with that little brush, I always try to get those areas there. But since I threw the brush away, <laughs> I couldn't do that. But it's fine. It looks better than it was. So not too bad 
but I'm going to go ahead and start getting some of the Christmas stuff out. I think I better before I just run out of time and I'm not going to be able to do any of it. Okay, so let me go ahead and head to the garage and get some of that stuff out. And yeah, I yesterday at the end of the day with hanging up the pictures, you know, it just brought back some memories that there was just a part of my mom's life that I really never knew about. And I wish that I had talk to her more about her past and growing up and stuff like that. So if your mom's still alive and, you know, of course my mom had Alzheimer's the last 12 years. So if your mom's still alive, make sure that you talk to her about those younger years because I definitely would have wanted to know about that. But anyway, let's go ahead and get to those Christmas decorations. <laughs> Okay, I'm very indecisive on decor. So I didn't really want to change my setup up here. I put this little card. That and then I put the reindeer up there with that tree and that little present on both sides. I put two of the deer on that side and then this deer on this side. And then I put our little truck down there lights up we just need to put batteries in this i think i'm going to put by the back door it's the mat that i usually have let me see i think it's already i had to put this chair on it because it was bent still is a little bent i'll just put it there hopefully it'll flatten out more <laughs> I didn't really want to put this on the table because we always end up moving it around. And so I feel like I've created a mess because now I have all of this decor over here. This I think I'm either going to put in my wardrobe room or, or in my master closet. I had it in there last year because it's the only place that I have rose gold. And as far as this is concerned, I put those blingy candles that I had before they look really pretty well I have two <laughs> so I don't know I feel like it's missing something I just don't know what I kind of want to elevate that little put something underneath it I'm still looking for something right now but I went ahead and started dinner I'm gonna make chicken and rice hopefully I have red sauce there's the red sauce and so I'm gonna start to make the rice but I just put all of the chicken in here all 12 pieces <laughs> I don't know how long it takes when you put them all in here but I really like these oh I'm about to start a fire here oh my goodness <laughs> um these we bought at bed bath and beyond and these are it's not even hot there and we have the whole set that I bought along with these and they're the ninja we have ninja everything so I really do like the jasmine rice that we got, that we get from Trader Joe's and so I just went ahead and did one and a half and so that means if I did one and a half, I have to do three cups because you do two for one. So if I'd have done just one cup, then I do two. So there we are. Hopefully I did that math right. <laughs> okay, and so I just added salt to that and I just wait for it to come to a boil and then I'll cover it and then let it steam for 17 minutes and I'll turn it down to right now I have it at 10 so it'll get to a boil and then I'll turn it down to like six and then I let it steam 
and it comes out perfectly. So for the chicken and rice, I always do onion salt. I do basil. I do parsley, onion salt, onion powder, garlic salt, and garlic powder. And some cilantro. And so all of these I put in my chicken and rice. We'll get that going. I really do like this roasted garlic tomato sauce. It's really, really good. Once this boils, like I said, I'll get it started. But back to the decor. I'm gonna go ahead and put that little tree in my beauty room and then try to figure out what I can put underneath there to lift that up a little bit. Okay, so there's my little tree. <laughs> with the rose gold and like I mentioned a lot of the rose gold that I have is in here which is why I put it in here and those that little string of lights is kind of weird but it's okay I like it I have that clock that never works it says it's 5 15 but it's 3 33 so yeah it's cute so here it is <laughs> I did find this that I had that I think I'm gonna put out here but I think I might have to move this over some because this is so big, but I just feel like it'll be pretty here, maybe. Sorry if I was really, really close. But yeah, just like that. Maybe put this back over here. This is why I turn off the camera when I'm trying to put stuff together because it's going to look crazy. The video is going to look crazy, but I kind of would rather have that over there. But because I guess it would be fine if I covered the sign there, at least temporarily. Let me switch it so you guys can see. Okay, there it is the other way. I kind of tend to like it like this. And the only reason I have to have it on that is because... It's a hanging, and so it won't stand up by itself unless I have a stand there. But I could probably get some greenery to put around there or something. But my rice is ready, and my chicken is ready. Ooh, that's hot. <laughs> the lid is hot. Let me get my glove on. But I like this rice and the way it comes out. Look at that. Beautiful. Okay, I'm about to put them together. I'm not hungry, but man, it smells good. So I just put the rice in here. And I'm just going to go ahead and let it get a little bit charred with some almond oil. And then I'm going to put all of the spices and the tomato sauce and add the chicken and it'll be done. Okay, it's ready. Looks delicious and I just added the chicken bones in there okay so here's how we ended up with this on this side I had to buy some of these candles from Walmart and then I just got these little boxes from the dollar store I like that it's the most wonderful time of the year and so this is how I went back and forth with it. And actually this goes to the back. I went back and forth with it and it says, oh, come let us adore him. Isn't that beautiful? And I decided not to put the tablecloth or the table settings. I'm just going to leave them off. And then as we turn over here, I have my little box that I bought from the dollar store as well, filled it up with candy. I told my husband I'm setting myself up for failure. Then I have my little truck down there and the deer in front of it. I moved, I went ahead and moved one of the deer because I felt like it was 
too crowded up there. And there's the little mat. It still needs to work it, the kinks out. And then I moved my cream birdhouse here and the vase to this side of the room. And it was back there in the back, but then I moved it over here. Some of these are on timers and some of them are just gonna have to turn off every day, but this is gorgeous. I love this. I made this a couple of years ago and we turn it on every year. So it's very pretty. And then the tree up there, I bought a little topper for it from Walmart. Let me see, let me scoot back. So it's just a little ornament and I just put it up there on both of them and just put two little presents and then put the deer there. And then I did the same thing on this other side. Just put the ornament and then just some boxes there. I like those little boxes. And then my husband went ahead and in the foyer, I left everything as I mentioned. I toyed with putting something here and then I just didn't. I'll start putting my cards there. I've only gotten one so far. <laughs> and then we lit up our pictures that are here in the foyer. But that's the end of today. I'm glad I got some things done and the food was delicious. I mean, it was really, really good. I'm thankful for that. I'll see you tomorrow.